Okay, so I woke up extra early this morning, and after a somewhat arduous journey getting here, I am finally at the, oh, pardon me, London Bridge Railway Station, getting ready for my trip to Brighton and South Downs. Now I just gotta find the ticket office. <laughs> okay, so after some confusing maneuvering, I finally found the location where I'm supposed to meet my tour guide, and I also found a couple who was looking for the spot as well, and I helped them out. So I did my good deed for today, and the only reason why I'm just heading back is because I have about 10 minutes, and I decided to use the bathroom while I still could. I'm officially on the train headed for Brighton. Today is going to be super exciting. Okay, we've made it. We're in Brighton. Now we're just waiting for our tour bus. I saw so many beautiful landscapes on the train to Brighton, but Right now, we're on the coach, and we're about to head off to our destination of South Downs. This is so exciting. I've never seen anything more breathtaking than this. Isn't this view breathtaking? Don't know if you can hear me over the wind. It's so windy up here. Ugh. I absolutely love it up here. As you can tell by the photos you saw earlier, I actually got to see Devil's Dyke. I wish I could have gotten some footage while I was still there, but I got photos. And I guess that's all that matters. Okay, so we have stopped at Middle Farm. I really feel like a fish out of water here. City girl from the United States, countryside in England. But submerging myself in an environment like this is definitely good for me. I rely too much on technology to keep myself entertained. Also, social media, Facebook, Instagram, which is ironic because I'm doing a vlog about this right now. But I'm really, really enjoying my time here. So uh, I just got myself a bit of lunch over at the farm shop and um, a bunch of the other people in the uh, tour group are getting food at the tea room. I got myself a sausage roll, um, a uh, ginger and cream shortbread, and a piece of fudge. And I got myself right here a lemonade just in case I start to get thirsty along the way. But. I think I'll be good for a while, but just to be safe. Also, I'm gonna be trying this right now. Let's see what it's like. Let's try this. Twenty-five minutes until we have to head back to the bus. So But if you do visit England and are in, around the area, I highly recommend you come and visit Middle Farms. No, try this. Mm, mm. I love mint and chocolate fudge, so this is a definite top nod. Look at this beautiful farm house. I'm right over here. I just love these stone fences. And see that archway right there? This is all so amazing. I remember years ago when I was little, I watched um, this uh, animated series, which was basically a series of adaptations of Beatrix Potter books. Um, and I declare it officially as the most beautiful animated series ever. 
It's called The World of Peter Rabbit and Friends. And um, I've been wanting to visit places like this, like that, ever since. And now that today is happening, my dream has officially come true. Hooray for little me. I saw some beautiful, beautiful, I think they were handmade, but I'm not quite sure, wicker shopping baskets over in the farm shop. If only I had room in my suitcase, I would buy one in an instant, but maybe once I get back home to New York, um, next time I visit the farmer's market, maybe I could possibly find one there. <sighs> Visiting this place just once just makes me want to visit the farmer's market back in New York so much more now. It's overcast today, but I think it just adds to the countryside atmosphere in a way. I'm not used to seeing hills this huge. It's like I take a look out there and I'm like, whoa! Yeah. What really inspired me to go to South Downs specifically was that 1980s animated special, The Snowman, based on the Raymond Briggs book and directed by the late, great Diane Jackson. You all know that one, right? It's raining, but I can manage it. So right now, I have made it to... Absolutely breathtaking, but our tour guide says that there's a location that's even more breathtaking, but this is pretty beautiful in and of itself. Now the camera's getting rained on. My tour guide was right. This definitely is a more breathtaking view. I opted not to bring my bag with me for two reasons. One, my shoulders hurting too much. And two, this is supposed to be classic England, a time where there were no smartphones, no Facebook, no Instagram. But then again, they didn't have digital cameras either, so I'm jinxing it by vlogging right now. It's so windy out. I am so glad I bought this hoodie. This is gonna be and a good idea on my part. Beachy Head, which is the highest point of the cliff, so I'm gonna take you, uh, give you guys a bit of a view. This is, as I said, so beautiful, so breathtaking. I definitely want to be here. Fortunately, I have an extra battery on me, so I'll be able to finish vlogging the rest of the trip on my camera. But if this battery were to die, I would still have my phone on me. So, I'm okay either way. It's starting to rain again, but look at them gorgeous cliffs. I'm all bundled up. This valley that we're hiking in is actually really, really beautiful. Welcome to Hope Gap. We are getting so many gorgeous views of these cliffs, and I am loving every minute of this tour. He was right, but this is the most beautiful view of the Seven Sisters. Wow. That is a gorgeous beach. See that?
tour is now officially over. That was one of the most beautiful, spectacular experiences of my life. My hair is a tangled mess and I feel like all the energy has been drained out of me, but it was so worth it. I feel like a changed human being. I really did need that. I wanted to stay in Brighton for a little bit longer, but I've got some packing to do and I'm hoping that I could possibly squeeze a few more visits in tomorrow before I leave on Sunday. But until then, I'm gonna keep having fun on this trip. I'm officially back in London, and let me tell you, there is nothing more satisfying than ending a long day out with a decaf pumpkin spice latte. 